Borispol International Airport Ukrainian Miznorodnyj Airport Borispol IATA KBP ICAO UKBB is an international airport in Borispol 29 kilometers 18 miles east of Kiev the capital of Ukraine it is the country's largest airport, serving 65% of its passenger air traffic, including all its intercontinental flights and a majority of international flights. It is one of two passenger airports that serve Kiev along with the smaller Zhulyany Airport. Borispol International Airport is a member of Airports Council International. History Early years On the 22nd of June 1959, the Council of Ministers of the Ukrainian SSR ordered the establishment of regular civil air traffic to the then military airfield near Borispol. On 7 July 1959, the new airport named Kiev Centralny received its first scheduled flight. It was Aeroflot's Tupolev Tu-104 en route from Moscow, carrying 100 passengers and about 1,600 kg of cargo. The first routes served were Moscow-Kiev-Moscow and Leningrad-Kiev-Leningrad. In November 1960, the first permanent air group, consisting of Tu-104 and Antonov and 10 planes, was assigned to the airport. Until then it had been served only by aircraft based in Moscow and other cities of the Soviet Union. A new passenger terminal was opened in 1965. Later that year, an automatic landing assistance system was installed. In 1963, the Ukrainian Territorial Administration of Civil Aviation formed its Borispol subdivision consisting of the airport and its air group. The air group grew significantly in the 1960s and 1970s. In 1974 it consisted of four fleets of turbojet aircraft two 104 planes, turbofan aircraft two 134, two 154 planes, and two fleets of turboprop aircraft Ilyushin Il-18 planes. Toward the final decades of the Cold War, the Soviet Air Force maintained a presence at Borispol Airport with one VTAP First Military Aviation Transportation Regiment flying Ilyushin Il-76 cargo jets. By the 1980s, Borispol had begun receiving limited international flights. Additional passenger services and customs, border control groups were established for that purpose. However, ordinary Soviet citizens were not allowed to depart abroad from Kiev, being restricted to fly only from Moscow airports. <laughs> development since the 1990s In 1993, the Ministry of Transportation of the newly independent Ukraine reorganized the airport into the Borispol State International Airport and created a local subdivision of Air Ukraine to serve it. The airport was open for any passengers and flights. The number of air and passenger traffic has been growing ever since. Early in the 2000s, Borispol became a hub airport serving destined and transit flights of foreign airlines. Its development strategy stresses the hub role since domestic passenger demand is growing insufficiently compared to the possible transit traffic. In 2001, a new runway was completed, and the airport carried 1.5 million passengers. It is certified for Category 3 AILS approaches. In 2002 Borispol Airport was certified under the ISO 9001 Quality Management System. It is one of Eastern Europe's largest airports with over 6 million passengers traveling in 2008. It consistently accounted for between 60% and 70% of Ukraine's air travel demand and, despite a drop of 13% in 2009, it handled 5.8 million passengers, more than it handled in 2007. The airport survived the 2012 European cold wave without major flight delays or cancellations. According to the media and industry experts, in 2013 once underdog in city Zhulyany Airport has rapidly grown into a major, and more efficient, competitor to the still leading Borispol Airport. Ongoing development Borispol International Airport handles most of Ukraine's international traffic. Terminal B, with only 11 gates, two of which were air bridges, was not enough to handle all international flights. 
This was the reason for the expansion of that terminal, which started in 2005. The first stage expansion of Terminal B was opened on 27 January 2006. In 2008, passport control within Terminal B departures was moved further east along with the entrance to the main duty-free shop so that it remains airside. There are plans to expand the airport further by building several new terminals. The government has been having meetings with the owners of nearby land, trying to buy more land for expansion. The construction of Terminal D was approved on 28 July 2008 and was completed in 2012 at a cost of 1.661 billion Ukrainian hryvnias The terminal will have a capacity of 1,500 passengers per hour and cover an area of 44.9 hectares. Platform M, which is connected to Terminal B and requires redevelopment, was to be reconstructed in 2009-2010. The reason for the delay in its reconstruction was the fact that Terminal B needs to be fully operational first. Now that Terminal D has opened building began on 24 October 2008, Platform M can be reconstructed without having a major impact on traffic. The construction of Terminal D was completed in 2012, with the terminal opening to passengers on 28 May 2012, increasing passenger handling facilities significantly. As of June, 24, 2016, Terminal A, B, and F are out of operation. By 2020, if all plans proceed, the airport should have a capacity of 18 million passengers per year. <laughs> <laughs> Terminals and infrastructure Terminals. <laughs> 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 Borispol International Airport has two operational passenger terminals B and D, one cargo terminal F, and a VIP terminal. The largely overcrowded former domestic terminal A was closed on the 15th of September 2011 in favor of transferring all domestic operations to nearby terminal B as of 2015. An additional terminal E had been planned to be completed by 2015. However, the construction has never been started. Topic. Terminal B Terminal B, the original Soviet-constructed building, serves mostly domestic flights except those of Ukraine International Airlines which are handled in Terminal D. It has undergone an extensive, long-term reconstruction to increase throughput by 2013. The terminal host shops, cafes, travel agencies and banks, as well as offices of airlines and a business center. The ground floor features luggage storage, waiting area, and check-in desks, whilst security and passport immigration control, the main departure lounge and the terminal's boarding gates are on the second floor. After passport control, passengers wait in the departure lounge where there is a business lounge, a number of cafes, restaurants and duty-free shops. There is free Wi-Fi access in the building. The terminal has two jet bridges and several bus boarding stands. Topic. Terminal D Terminal D, construction of which began on 24 March 2008, was opened on 28 May 2012 with an initial capacity of 3,100 passengers per hour. It received its first arrivals passengers on 29 May 2012. Terminal D is the main international departures and arrivals facility and serves as the home base of Ukraine International Airlines. It has been designed to support an integrated system for monitoring and directing arriving and departing passengers. This has been ensured by implementing a scheme of movement based on the principle of multi-level zoning. Departing passengers use the airport's upper floors, whilst those arriving and yet to pass through immigration are processed on a lower level. The ground and first floors are used for airside service and the sorting of baggage. Airside, the first floor is used for arrivals zone and baggage hall. The fourth floor is reserved for airlines' lounges. The terminal can be accessed from the airport's central access road for arrivals and in the same way but via a ramp for departures level. The building features both jet bridges and bus boarding stands and is equipped to handle wide-body aircraft such as Ukraine International Airlines Boeing 777-200 ERS. The Ukrainian Border Guard and State Customs Service maintain control points for arriving and departing passengers 40 passport booths for arrivals and 28 for departures. 
The terminal has 11 gates equipped with jetways and additional bus gates. The terminal is for international flights only, however, potential changes have recently been announced which would see the terminal serving international and domestic services so as to fully use its transit facilities, this would see the construction of a new extension to the main gallery, equipped to handle domestic flights. Terminal D regularly features Ukrainian art exhibitions by such notables as Maria Primachenko and Yuri Kimich, organized by the art fund, Artania. Terminal F Terminal F is a former passenger and current cargo facility and was opened on 21 September 2010 by President of Ukraine Viktor Yanukovych as a home base for Ukraine International Airlines. Terminal F started handling regular flights as of 31 October 2010, with an initial capacity of 900 passengers per hour. The terminal is not equipped with jetways as it was originally meant to serve low-cost airlines. However, the higher level of service offered led to the transfer of many scheduled European and Asian carriers to the terminal. The opening of Terminal F greatly reduced the overcrowding at Terminal B, which had previously been Borispol's only operating international terminal. Upon opening of Terminal F and expansion, reconfiguration of Terminal B's airside departures to serve domestic flights, the airport was able to close the largely outdated domestic Terminal A. Terminal used to serve Uter Ukraine, Air Baltic, Adria Airways, Armavia, Austrian Airlines, Bolavia, British Airways, La Polish Airlines, Georgian Airways, Germanwings, Libyan Airlines, Lufthansa, Finnair, KLM, S7 Airlines, Turkish Airlines and others. All of them were transferred to Terminal D. Ukraine International Airlines transferred all of its regular flights to Terminal D dated 30 May 2013. UIA's charter flights stayed still being operated in Terminal F. It was expected that Terminal F would be also used for low-cost carriers. In October 2013 the terminal was used for services charter flights and low-cost airlines. It serviced three or four, sometimes eight, flights a day. On 15 October airport management decided that Terminal F will be used as a cargo terminal in the future. On 27 October 2013 all flights were transferred from Terminal F to Terminal D. During 2018 it has been reported that Terminal F will be reinstated to be used as a passenger facility to be used by low-cost carriers, especially Ryanair. Infrastructure. <inaudible> 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 Borispol Airport is equipped with two runways, with the terminals occupying a center field location. The Eastern No. 1 runway built in 2001 serves many international flights. The No. 2 runway the airport's western runway. In the long term, there are plans to build a third crosswind runway, short stay car parking facilities that are provided in the immediate vicinity of terminals B and F, whilst long term parking facilities are in the vicinity of the airport's access road and station square. In addition to these facilities, the airport is, in connection with the construction of Terminal D, building its first multi story car park. This will be a combined long and short stay car park. Since 2011, there is free inter-terminal shuttle bus service in the airport, with four buses serving it round the clock as of July 2013. Topic: Airlines and destinations. Topic: Passenger. The following airlines offer regular scheduled and charter services to and from Borispol International Airport. Topic: Cargo. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Other facilities. Topic VIP and governmental facilities. A new VIP facility named Borispol 2 is under construction at the northern end of the east runway. 
This facility is expected to serve deputes members of, parliament of the Verkhovna Rada, the Ukrainian president, high-ranking members of the Ukrainian government and other domestic and foreign officials and delegates. The terminal will serve Ukrainian officials at a rate of 180 Ukrainian hryvnias per person, whilst others wishing to use its facilities will be expected to pay a minimum of 1,100 Ukrainian hryvnias. Plans for the new VIP terminal show that it will cost around 350 million Ukrainian hryvnias and will have the capacity to serve around 150 passengers an hour. Unlike Borispol's other terminals, the new government, VIP facility will not be accessible from the airport's center field access road. Instead, it will have controlled access from the town of Borispol which will thus allow access to the Borispol Kiev Highway. Terminal D is equipped to cater for other non-government VIP passengers, for whom it provides a separate check-in area, departure lounge, and boarding area. Borispol also caters for foreign officials who visit Ukraine and has, in recent years, been used by figures such as U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, Russian Presidents Vladimir Putin and Dmitry Medvedev, Polish Presidents Lech Kaczynski and Bronisław Komorowski, and a large number of other officials on their visits to the Ukrainian capital. The Ukrainian government's air fleet Ukraine Air Enterprise is based at Borispol. This fleet compromises one Airbus A319 for the use of the President of Ukraine, two long-haul Ilyushin Il-62 aircraft and a number of smaller aircraft and helicopters for general government use. Currently, these aircraft are based near the covered hangars to the north of Terminal F. However, with the completion of Borispol II, it is expected that the government's dedicated aircraft will move to that facility's apron, thus allowing officials to board, disembark their aircraft with minimum adverse effects on other civil operations. Topic. Catering and cargo facilities At Borispol Airport, for almost 20 years, operates company Aero Catering Services Ukraine and its airline catering facility is a part of the regional and global catering services network, LSG Sky Chefs. On 16 May 2012 a greatly expanded, modern catering facility was opened at the airport. The complex, which is managed by Kiev Catering, cost around $25 million to build and is capable of producing up to 25,000 flight packaged meals a day. The new catering center was built entirely with private funds supplied by investors, thus making it one of the first investments at Borispol not part funded by the state. Cargo facilities are available at Borispol Airport and located close by as a large logistics center operated by DHL and housing other logistics providers. The Ukrainian Post is a major company operating at Borispol, whilst the airport can provide cold storage and standard cargo transport. Military facilities The airport also houses the 15th Transport Aviation Brigade. Public transport connections <inaudible> Road transport Borispol Airport is connected to Kiev and its wider metropolitan area through the road network. Its entrance is at the dedicated branch of the M03 M03 National Road. Several bus and minibus lines serve the airport, connecting it to the closest stations of the Soretsko Petrska line and the Central Railway Station. The Sky Bus 322 provides regular shuttle services between Kiev's main railway station and Terminal D of the airport. Many intercity bus routes to or from Kiev make dedicated stopovers to cater for airline passengers from other cities. E.g., a Kiev Donetsk southeast -bound bus would travel from Kiev Central Bus Station through the airport, while a Kiev Lviv southwest -bound bus would start in the airport and then proceed to Lviv through the Central Bus Station in Kiev. Overall, at least 35 intercity bus routes transit Borispol Airport. All long-distance and Kiev-bound buses arrive at the airport's bus station near the B terminal. Borispol has a number of long-stay guarded car parks as well as designated drop-off points and taxi stands. Taxis can be booked for a set price at counters inside the terminal buildings. Railway connection 
On the 30th of November 2018, Ukrainian Railways launched a 24/7 express train from Kiev railway station, Kiev to Boryspil Airport via Darnitsia railway station. Trains departure, arrive at the 14th track and run every hour non-peak and every 30 minutes peak. Journey time one way is 30 to 40 minutes. Ticket price is 80 Ukrainian hryvnias and can be purchased by cash at two cash desks at the Central and South Railway stations, by non-cash at four self-service terminals installed in the concourse over the 14th T track and at Boryspil Rail Station. Also, passengers can buy tickets on the trains using contactless cards. Accidents and incidents On 16 September 1971 a Tu-134 of Malev on approach to Kiev suffered a generator failure that forced the crew to switch to batteries for power supply. The foggy weather then forced the crew to abort two approaches. Upon landing, the Tupolev crashed and broke up. There were 41 passenger fatalities and eight amongst the crew, with no survivors. In 1976, a Tu-154 of Aeroflot sustained structural damage during a heavy landing. The aircraft was withdrawn and is now preserved at the Ukraine State Aviation Museum. There were no fatalities. In 1976, a Tu-104 of Aeroflot overshot the runway after its engines had been turned off in flight. There were no fatalities although the aircraft was damaged beyond repair and written off. On the 5th of September 1992, an Air Ukraine Tu-154 had taken off from Kiev when its undercarriage failed to retract properly. The crew decided to return. However, on the approach, the left-hand main gear failed to extend. An emergency landing was carried out. There were no fatalities amongst the 147 passengers or crew. The aircraft was written off. On 5 September 2004 an N 12 of the Antonov Design Bureau ran off the runway, causing the undercarriage to collapse. The aircraft was then written off as damaged beyond repair. There were no fatalities. <laughs> <laughs> Airport in pop culture The airport is mentioned in Provence by Ukrainian female singer Yoka. See also List of airports in Ukraine List of the busiest airports in Ukraine List of the busiest airports in Europe List of the busiest airports in the former USSR <laughs>